this is a story that transcends sports. And behind me in Tony's sports bar, Cubs fans are hanging on every single pitch. A lot of fans I talked to today were concerned that that purple Vikings jersey behind me in the Hall of Fame was Brett Favre's idea, but it wasn't. It was the Hall of Fame who decided to put that jersey on display. The USS Sioux City, not only a statement of pride for Iowa, but also for Wisconsin. A celebratory day for the sixth littoral combat ship. Crews will be out today and they'll be using shovels and ice picks. They even told me blow torches and poor water quality. And there was one headstone that we couldn't find. So it's my honor as a veteran to place this last flag in remembrance of Norbert Traeger. Thank you for your service. So when you reach for that cold one, honor a hero. They're very confident about their chances tonight in a rematch against Republican incumbent Ron Johnson, who defeated Feingold back in 2010. And on to the Sturgeon Bay Bridge, which is one of two bridges. Steve Dent, Local 5 News. <laughs> Nicely done, Steve. <laughs> nice, all right. He's known as Mean Gene, the dancing machine. Another classic Hail Mary by Aaron Rodgers sends Lambeau Field into a frenzy. Yeah, and I just came from the Packers everywhere pep rally, and you know they were fired up for that one. And it's all in honor of the old gunslinger. Green and Gold Nation goes crazy after Mason Crosby's game-winning field goal helps the Packers beat the Cowboys 34-31. Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go! It was. It was back and forth all the way to the end, and then that last that last moment when they called timeout and he got that kick, and then we had to wait and see if he would get it again. I mean. Whew, I didn't know if you'd get it, and I'm so glad he did. The Packers had Anduzzi's rocking from the very beginning, after Rodgers and the Packers got off to a hot start. So far, so good, you know. I mean, I'm just waiting for them. Obviously, the Packers are on fire right now. But the Cowboys came roaring back. We got you. And for fans, it was a roller coaster ride of emotions. We were so ahead, and now we're tied. Yeah. As the game came down to the final second. Not nervous at all. I was. I was nervous no. at the end. Yeah. And now it's on to Atlanta, where the Packers take on the Falcons in the NFC Championship game, with a trip to Houston on the line. Let's go to the Super Bowl for sure. For sure. Go to the Super Bowl, we're going to win the Super Bowl. Keeping it local in Ashwaubenon. Steve Dent. Local 5 News. Oh, there you, go. you don't see nothing, you don't see nothing, and woof, there it is right there. And you know, yeah, pretty amazing. You know, it's quite a thrill. As Door County literally dives head first into the new year. Keeping it local in Jacksonport, Steve Dent. Local 5 News. Well, Northeast Wisconsin offers so many ways to beat the heat with waterways all over. But for those looking for an adventure the entire family can enjoy, the Menominee River has some of the best whitewater in the Midwest. Local 5 Steve Dent takes us whitewater rafting. A nod to the river god. Round two, let's go. Before guides take rafters down Pierre's Gorge in an adrenaline pumping white water roller coaster ride. I was really scared at first, like seeing the actual waterfall in front of me, not knowing what was going to happen was pretty scary. Cozer's Raft Company has been taking people down the river for over 40 years, and you don't need any experience to enjoy the fun. 
Right, totally. I mean, we have everything from Boy Scouts to grandparents every day. And uh, today we had a group from Germany that's just traveling America that happened to stop in Wisconsin for some whitewater rafting. Now, whitewater rafting is a team exercise. It's up to the guide to steer the raft. But when it comes down to it, it's the paddlers that determine the brake and more importantly, the gas pedal. All right, all forward. So come ready to paddle. Raft companies will supply the gear and they'll also teach you about the river. Um, what to do if someone falls out or how you swim when if you do fall out and we get to practice that before in the water. All the guides get certified in swift water rescue courses. Safety has to be a priority because a river can be unpredictable. Every guide you have here has been through the ropes. And experience matters. Mike Keller, our guide, he's been with Cozers for eight years. Your battle cries when we drop into this waterfall. All forward, all forward, all forward. And actually going down it, being splashed in the face, you can't really see where you're going. A lot of the time, it's a rush. Up. Nice yeah. Keeping it local. From the Menominee River, Steve Dent, Local 5 News. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Kohler Company wants to add another championship golf course to an already impressive portfolio in the Sheboygan area. This proposal has drawn criticism from opponents worried about Native American burial grounds, well water, and the surrounding environment. And tonight's special report, Local 5 Steve Dent looks into the proposed golf course, which would be built in the town of Wilson between the Black River and Lake Michigan, just north of Kohler Andre State Park. Whistling Straits Golf Course on the shores of Lake Michigan has featured PGA Championships and earned Kohler Company a number of accolades. Whistling Straits has become a destination for golfers like Jim Miller, who made the trip up from Illinois. It is a challenge. It is spectacular. Just the openness of it, how natural it looks. It's unbelievable. Golf Digest ranked Whistling Straits as the fourth best public golf course in the world. And it ranks right up there on Jim Miller's list. Uh, I've played all over the United States and Ireland, and for me, this is in my top five. And the Ryder Cup comes to Whistling Straits in 2020. The Ryder Cup is the premier golf event in the world. And now Kohler wants to build another championship course. But unlike Whistling Straits that was built on an old army base, the new course would be in the Black River Forest. This is not the place for a golf course. It's the wrong place for a golf course. The proposed golf course would be on nearly 250 acres of land Kohler owns. But that's been met with resistance by a group called the Friends of the Black River Forest. This particular Kohler property is the same exact ecosystem as Kohler Andre State Park. To build this golf course, the environmental impact study states that Kohler would have to deforest 150 acres of trees. When those trees come down, what that will do is destabilize the environment, the forest environment of the state park. Kohler Andre State Park and the surrounding Black River Forest is full of wildlife, but the area also has rare wetlands and sand dunes that are unique to the lake shore. The dunes are going to be wiped out. But Kohler says they want to preserve as much of the natural beauty as possible, like they did at Black Wolf Run, and would eliminate fewer than five acres of wetlands. We feel we've done that with a very minimalist design, and we uh, really have great plans to minimize and mitigate uh, the environmental aspect there. And there would be a shared entry for the golf course and the state park where Kohler has proposed a roundabout. Kohler Andre State Park is a popular destination for campers. In fact, it's the second most visited state park in Wisconsin. And Kohler Company wants to use four acres for the proposed golf course. To give Kohler an easement for his own profit through that land that was taken from a family is absolutely outrageous. Kathleen Romer used to work at Kohler Company. She calls Herb Kohler Jr. a mentor and appreciates him for letting people use the trails on his land. It's more than appreciation. Um, my gratitude went out to him. Um, I was one of the people that always defended Mr. Kohler. In 1966, Herb Kohler Sr. donated 280 acres to the state park. 
Wisconsin would attempt to purchase the remaining acreage, but Herb Jr. kept the land, saying he wanted it to remain undeveloped. What happened to you, Mr. Kohler? What happened to Never? Wouldn't your legacy be better served as a true steward of the environment versus the king of golf? But a new golf course would add to the prestige of the Sheboygan area as a golfing paradise. Adding another golf course brings even more reason for guests from outside the state to come here uh, to test themselves on another new venue. We're very excited that we can actually add to the economy with new jobs and new revenue and new taxes. will be uh, almost $10 million directly to the area with that and over $20 million to the overall state. Forbes ranked Herb Kohler Jr. as the 159th wealthiest man in the world. Records show Kohler contributed $42,500 to Governor Scott Walker. The governor has made sizable cuts to the Wisconsin DNR. The friends of the Black River Forest know they face an uphill struggle as they hope to stop development of this new golf course. It's David and Goliath, but I've got a stone. And as the sun goes down in Colorandre State Park, it leaves the burning question, what happens next?